So to kick this video off, I go on with my gold blade builds FX's Starting my first guideline in a rainbow shape Cause I wanna give it like a bursted taper uh, look And I wanna keep everything consistent as possible I blow that panel out, then I go right in with my Anders Masters Giving myself um, a half of an inch just so I can fade in between this And giving myself this half of an inch gonna give me enough room Just to blend this little area out right here And get a nice small transition before I go into my guards my next step, I go in with my 116th and I just want to go in with my 116th just to fill around in this because my client is like literally in the midst of getting dreads but at the same time keeping a taper fro. So I'm trying to really size up how much I want to take from his side seeing that we don't want to part it off. Like I think that's one thing that somebody do bad when they do a taper lining with dreads or eventually want to taper lining with dreads that they part it off and that's when it starts to look stupid. You got to naturally break into it so when the dreads get twisted or the hair get twisted that it look natural as possible opposed to sectioned off so it's just a small technique and fading in between and i'm on my one eighth guard right now just getting a nice little transition because most of this is still grabbable hair that will be twisted it's just the camera angle and it's sitting right on top of it so it looks like uh the hair ain't deep enough as you guys can see me barely scooping but a lot of that hair is grippable so i don't want to really cut too much of it i just didn't want it sectioned off and then I go in, same thing, applying the same steps to the top of the beard, trying to connect it to the bottom of the taper. Starting to open and dropping my clippers halfway, then completely closed, and it's finished. And I go in in the back, doing the same thing with my Babeless FX's. I'm creating my ball line, and I'm giving myself about a half of an inch. I'm going to blow this panel out, and then I'm going to start to work my way up in the fade. Go completely open here. And I'm blowing this panel out now. One eighth guard right here, which is one of my thicker guards, is gonna blend right into my one sixteenth. I got real exciting news that's coming up real soon so if you guys just stick with me through all of these youtube videos i got some real 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 dope news coming together me just clicking up with some other educators and getting right in a whole different realm whole different territory whole different ball game of education and uh giving y'all way more in-depth tutorials not just through youtube but through something else i'm linking up with my brother basio my brother shannon which is f crash blends my dog sean cuz here and my dog dre we all gonna be putting our content through the tune 45 academy the haircuts will be drawn out they won't be 10 to 15 minutes no more any from 30 minutes to 40 minutes plus of really teaching you how to get to point a to point z pure education it won't be lingo based and it won't feel like this youtube thing at all it's gonna be a whole different mission for myself whole different challenge for myself to teach at that type of high rate with the live so i'll be watching the videos live while breaking the haircuts down with you the academy is literally going to be one of the most evolutionized educational platforms where we'll be able to display long length haircuts and get you from point a to point z and lively watch this thing with you and break it down pause the video circle certain things just so you can see exactly what we're talking about so please stay tuned to that stay tuned to my announcement it's gonna be amazing and i can't wait to see any of you guys that's on my youtube channel sign up because that's where i'm gonna be able to teach a lot 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 more you'll be able to get way more in depth with me and be able to understand this thing at a whole different angle than just how i do it through youtube it won't be no music it's gonna be real intimate with whoever your favorite educators are and you'll be able to get a lot of content from five different educators that teach five different things and five different plus techniques i just think it's also gonna be so dope so dope to bring a different element like that because most academies only have one barber but to get an academy that's gonna host the five dope educators that's gonna be crazy to me so please lock in with us lock in with the tomb squad and i promise you we won't let you down this is gonna be something super dope just keep watching out for that it's coming up in my next content i'm gonna give you guys way 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 more to work off to 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 
eventually go sign up so you guys can see exactly how to get into this thing and get ready and get prepped for everybody. We actually got my boy Shannon. He's going to be one of the guys educating tonight live at 9 um, p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to be super, super, super dope. And I'm going to be in the building. I'm going to be watching. So right here, I go in using my Andes Masters and they're completely open. And I'm using the raking method so I can basically trim the front level because I kind of don't like trimming this level with guards. Guards sometimes snag the hair. Not in a bad way, but like pull more hair out that I would want it. So I go in completely open. That's like an old tip and trick that I learned from my boy Chuka when a mixtape uh, videos used to be out through YouTube. So I go in my Vegas FX's, tap my verticals on my neckline, then I convert to the corner of my clipper and work myself all the way around the corner of the client's ear. Then right here I do the back of the beard This is my edge work, this is my frame out work This is just what basically helps me see my haircut Ten times more, I always start with the back of the neckline And that eventually goes to the back of the beard line And that's literally my frame That's my frame to before I break into my real master art Doing my verticals, going up, converting to the corner of my clipper Working all the way around the edge, you guys can see Keeping everything consistent, I got that ear folded And I'm not missing the spot at all also trimming some of the back hairs out the way that's hanging over the ear some. And y'all know me, when it come to these lineups, like, I just basically treat everything like common denominators. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. And then common denominators in math, whatever you do to the bottom of them improper fractions to break them, you do the same thing to the top. So essentially, you see me do both of my necklines and both of the back of my beard lines. And I go in, plant in the middle, work my way all the way to the left side. And I just want to create a nice balance beam because I got some lightness in my lineup. But because I got an afro, it creates the illusion that the lineup is way more, way more more fuller than what you would think so once I go in do part of my straightaway drop my vertical bar then I'm able to create my Chicago C using just the tip of my blade and working around that slow super slow circular motion to create a nice C then I work my way all the way to the right side as well keeping everything consistent not pressing the lines in just basically tapping letting everything come to me natural and applying pressure by any means this is what i do this is one of my favorite things to the haircuts the lineup it's something that i taught myself a while ago so that's so i went in with my brush dragged it over just so i could create and get some of the same length on my vertical bars it's just easier for me to see it that way it's multiple tips and tricks for you to be able to get your vertical bars even that's just what works for me so right here i go in with my boy sean cuts hair color enhancement card it's the end of the month the end of the sale was coming up he got a 20 percent sale right here on the screen all capital letters beam team 24 is how you get 20 percent off your color enhancement cards it's gonna keep you completely 100 percent in boundary it's super easy to disperse color and you can't make a mess with this as you guys can see my color is laid perfect on every side i go in i set the card there and i use the card as my boundary or my in boundary line just so i don't spray outside of that rim everything will hit the line and everything will hit the hair and that's just basically how i stay uniform with my color and my color is laid perfect shout out to my boy sean cuts here for amazing cards so please use that 20 percent code go get these color enhancement cards it's the end of this month and you will not have this sale no more so please 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 go hit that go get that color enhancement card i go in with my one and a half guard just to flick out some more of this hair because it was a little dark in that that area but i didn't want to go too high due to the dreads that my client said he wanted so we just went back in retapped it and in the front of the hair just cleared some of this area out this other line I can expose some more next i go in with my barber magic pencil which is basically going to be considered or used as a concealer i'll be able to conceal my line up i'll be able to move from left to right drag these lines all through the hair and at the same time create nice thin lines for my lineup that's super important to me if you're going to use a barber magic pencil you need to make super thin lines just so it complements the lineup at the end of it i see so many thick lines when people were using this and that's the that's the issue the thicker the line the harder it is to blend it blend it out or the faker or the chalkier it looks when you don't do it this way so you see as i went in and created some thin lines and i used my brush just to tap it you can see how it spreads across the skin or you can see 
that that illusion that it gives off that real crispy clean Kodak look and that's what I use my pencil for I use my pencil for my Kodak moments I take a lot of pictures throughout the shop I just don't really post that many pictures on my IG but I'm always taking pictures just to get better with my pictures so as you guys can see it give a nice crispy clean look nothing too overly done and boom we got it we go in with the straight razor angling my client back angling that razor at a 45 degree angle stretching the skin and bringing everything back to the lining using my whisk of my dust to dust it off because the first time you loop something isn't it I put up the shop multiple times just so I'm able to efficiently score that's what I was talking about in previous videos there's no way that you could put up a thousand shots every day in the gym and that field goal percentage don't go up like you just got to think about that the more you hoop the more that you practice the more that you put that same shot up it's gonna hit eventually and that's always 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 been something that I preach through YouTube take your time with this thing and do it more than one time the first time you loop something is not it you have to do this thing more than once no matter how clean it look a lot of barbers cap they self off and they end result off based on them thinking that something is done from the beginning that's comfortability that's complacency and that don't live here at my channel if i'm gonna do this lineup thing correctly i'm gonna do it multiple times i'm gonna shift that hair i'm gonna shift these products all the way around inside of the client's head and we're gonna make sure that everything is laid and as you guys can see we got a banger i'm going in to spray some water right here then i'm gonna go in behind it with some mousse just so i could prep this hair and curl sponge it right now until he go gets his dread so until then we go in using the mousse i sprayed it in my hand i just pat it around in the hair just so it's distributed and dispersed it evenly opposed to putting lines of mousse in it and i go in with a curl sponge and i just whip that thing all the way into 360 making sure that i'm hitting every bit of the hair you want all these hairs to go through the holes of the curl sponge and then boom at the end of it as you guys can see we in the game jack so i fix my razor as you guys can see and I go back in just to recreate rehit lines. That's the objective to me. Cleanliness is next to godliness. In order to be this clean, you gotta do things multiple times. That's just the game for you. I've been taught this game multiple times, but the biggest thing that I took away from the game when anybody was to teach me was to consistently put up the reps, was to consistently go back and forth and consistently detail, consistently make sure that your work is it before it's the end and result. So in an imperfect world, you do get these clients that come in looking crazy by the here but it's barbers it's up to us to change that outcome and on my channel y'all know how i give it up as lock in hashtag tbt in that comment section hashtag glacier gang hashtag 2020 is year to shape shifters we've been in that duffel too long now we ain't slowing down no time soon if you was able to make it through this 14 to 15 minute video i appreciate you to the fullest and i'll see you next time and may god bless